So guys, remember that video that I did not too long ago about that PlayStation video that PlayStation isn't going to release any big single player games in 2024? Well, I might be right because we have new news from PlayStation themselves that there won't be any new big games in big existing IPs like God of War, Ghost of Tsushima on Horizon for this year up until 2025. Let's talk all about that for today's video. So sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage and let's get on with the news. So I have some more bad news for the gaming community. Xbox was first with the bad news which is coming tomorrow for its strategy and now PlayStation has its turn. In particular single player gamer fans like me and subscribers on this channel we love single player games. I talk all the time about them and it looks like the fact that PlayStation isn't going to release any big first party single player game like sequels from their major IPs like God of War, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima. They are not going to do that for 2024. And I warned about this in a previous video already that I did some time ago. And I was right on this speculation. Remember that. <laughs> so there is a very big live service push. We all know that with PlayStation recently. We are going to get new games. It's not that PlayStation isn't going to release new exclusives this year. But all of these games will be the live service stuff and a lot of new ips so basically no existing ips like god of war and spider-man etc the big ones that is going to sting for a lot of playstation fans out there be prepared especially if you are into single player games because it's going to be very barren for single player games from playstation at least this year that's why they all have the big third party exclusives like final fantasy 7 rebirth by the way, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if it's a good comment, I might feature your comment in the next video. Now let's take a look at this news. Uh, this is coming from Gamatsu. They made a very good article on this. Sony Interactive Entertainment does not plan to release any new major existing franchise titles next physical year, which ends on March 31st, 2025. Regarding first party software, we aim to continue to focus on producing high quality works and developing live service games. But while major projects are currently under development, we do not plan to release any new major existing franchise titles next physical year. So basically from April 2024, April 1st, up until March 31st, 2025. After March 31st, we will see new releases again. So that's what they mean. They are talking in physical years. That's a corporate term. Like God of War Ragnarok and Marvel's Spider-Man 2. It should be noted that while major existing franchises titles include intellectual property such as God of War and Spider-Man, it does not include new intellectual property like Concord or Until Dawn as a smaller franchise. So Until Dawn of course is getting its remake that is coming but not a lot of people are really waiting for that maybe hardcore Until Dawn fans but that's the majority of PlayStation gamers I think. So that means Ghost of Tsushima 2 that is not releasing this year. I already knew that was not going to make this year, but early 2025 at the earliest shall I say. And best case scenario, basically what we can now have is that we will see Ghost of Tsushima 2 getting announced this year. That's what I hope because recently the team Sucker Punch that makes Ghost of Tsushima did actually post on X that they are looking for a new marketing manager. Most of the time when they are looking for marketing managers, they do in fact have something to announce in the near future. Otherwise, they wouldn't have any need for a marketing manager. So that is pretty telling in my opinion. An announcement, shall I say, for Ghost of Tsushima 2 is a big possibility, but the actual release of that will be after March 31st. The best scenario is that we see a announcement for Ghost of Tsushima 2 this year, but then 
the actual release will be after around let's say june of 2025 or july maybe that summer period just like the first game i wouldn't be surprised if sucker punch wants to do that that is the best case scenario though the worst case scenario is that we aren't going to get any announcements this year for games like a ghost of tsushima 2 or uh, the new ip from naughty dog something like that single play big single player related or the venom game that has been leaked or wolverine stuff like that that is the worst case scenario if we don't get anything towards that in this year's playstation showcase because the thing is i have noticed this recent trend with playstation that they want to announce their games closer to release so maybe we don't see any announcement for ghost of tsushima 2 and we might have to wait a whole year until 2025 2025 showcase to see ghost of tsushima i hope that's not the case but yeah that might be the worst case scenario if it's going to be that route there is still some hope for big single player games this year because they do talk about new ip the problem is most of the new ip from playstation are all live service games like concord but there are two studios three studios in particular that we know of that are making new ip for first party one is bent and the problem though with bent studio is that they are also making a multiplayer experience open world game with their new ip i would just like to see a single player game from them doesn't mean it will be a bad game though being multiplayer but most playstation fans are not looking forward to that and especially on my channel we all want to see single player games now maybe it's just a component of a multiplayer component there that and it has maybe a big single player focus still but i am not very hyped for this new game from band but we shall see but also Bluepoint games are working on their own original IP and that might be in fact a single player game and there have been some leaks that it might be a fantasy game with Egyptian inspired art that was also in the Insomniac leak apparently I didn't even know that maybe Bluepoint games can come out this year with a surprise announcement but i don't know i'm very skeptical on that demon souls was not that long ago maybe it's just enough time because it was a remake though maybe they do have something now ready at blue point that might be shall i say single player in focus and also we do know that naughty dog is working right now on multiple single player projects next to last of us part three they are also working on a fantasy ip from what i know a new ip so maybe naughty dog is ready but that's also a maybe santa monica at one point was made making also a new ip a science fiction ip from what i know if that is in development at all i was hoping that the god of war team might come with a smaller game with artreus for this year that's what i was speculating in my previous video maybe they can make like a uncharted lost legacy style game or spider-man miles morales a shorter uh, game but it's still single player focused maybe focusing on artreus i was hoping that that might be the case but that's not going to release as well if there are no major ips for this year that includes god of war as well so that's also not going to happen in the venom game as well that will be all apparently for after that's it really stinks if after Mar march 31st 2025 we will have to have such a big wait for single player from first party at playstation that is very disappointing in my opinion uh, if you are a big playstation fan i highly recommend to look at third party and second party options here like Death stranding 2 final fantasy 7 rebirth of course luckily we do have a lot of great third party games this year especially japanese third party games which i actually want to make a video about on how good japanese games have been this year so look forward to towards that if i'm going to make that video yeah all around pretty bad news what do you guys think of this let me know in the comment section down below are you guys disappointed with this news 
we shall see maybe there is a big new ip though still that single player this year for playstation maybe from blue point but i'm very skeptical on that so just be braced i said that in my last video as well about playstation studios so just that you know that of course there's also x dev maybe we see a second party game let's take a good comment of the day from my last video which was about persona uh, where i talked about rumors for persona 2 remasters and persona 4 remake i got some very funny comments actually uh, from jesua persona 4 rewatch as a title for the remake that would fit or this is from uh, xobal123 persona 4 rerun <laughs> uh, that, uh, that yeah that fits uh that would be actually a very good title because we do have reload for persona 3 with the whole gun stuff so uh re watch and rerun <laughs> are pretty good titles for persona 4 an eventual like remake for persona 4 let me know in the comment section down below if you have a good comment of your own i might feature your comment in the next video thank you guys for watching as always like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more PlayStation news. If there is more news towards single player first party, I will of course let you guys know. But also Xbox, I cover Xbox news as well, as well as Nintendo. Everything that's big single player, I mostly focus on rumors and leaks for this channel. Thank you guys for watching. As always, visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Wrecked Gaming News video. Bye bye.